Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're starting off a little different. We also have a different background. As you guys have been telling me, I had a white background for like the longest time ever. And you guys have been telling me to switch it up for like the longest time ever. But I was just going to wait until we moved and stuff and we're finally in the new place. Um, it's my first time filming in the new place. So yeah, I switched it up. I had been wanting to do a yellow background for like the longest time ever. And I love the way that it looks. And to go with the yellow background, we're also going to do a yellow smoky eye. Which is like the easiest, probably the easiest eye look I've ever done. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell that the lighting is also a little bit different. Um, let me know if it's like really really bad. I think right now it looks good But earlier I was kind of upset uh, my ring light is broken and like some of my other lights are broken So I'm basically just filming with um, my studio box lights, but let me know if this is good enough if the lighting is good enough I really like how the background is looking though. Like I'm so obsessed um, I obviously already have my face makeup done not all of my face makeup I just have all of my cream products on and I'm letting my face bake right now um I wanted to do that just in case we get any fallout or anything, but I have not actually set my face down, so I'll probably do that right now. Just I don't want I don't want any fallout to get on here, and I just realized that my like cheeks and stuff, my cheek area is still kind of like wet from the products. I haven't like set down my face besides where I have powder on right now. I'm going to just take a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder before we get into the video. And a little, my little powder brush from Vanity Planet that I have been obsessed with since I got their brush set. And I'm just going to kind of set my face down. And I'll dust off a little bit of my bake. On my nose and under my eyes, I'll leave it just um, for a purpose of catching any fallout and stuff. That way, that way like, it doesn't get messy or anything, but I just kind of wanted to set my face down a little bit so that the yellow doesn't get on my cheeks and stuff anyways okay going into the eye look now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral and uh, I really uh, I'm so happy that I'm able to film now, you guys. Like, I feel like I haven't been creating a lot of content for you guys lately and it's also because I haven't had my setup like I'm very very upset about my ring light um, I remember starting off my YouTube and I had like no lights and then I remember I convinced my parents to buy me um, this cowboy studio lighting it was like a three like it was like um, it was a three set of umbrella lights I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of you know work this concealer in you guys know I like to tap my concealer I don't like to I know other people like to use just going with a blender but I don't like it like that I feel like I get more more coverage like this um, but yeah, I remember I had convinced my parents to buy me some little lights. They were just little umbrella lights. They weren't that, they weren't all that. And then when I had moved, we had moved houses and I think I, I had already, I'm not sure if I had already started working at somewhere or not, but I had saved up like all of my money. Oh my God, that concealer is so light, but I love it. Um, I had saved up like all of my money to get a ring light and I remember I was like, oh my God, like. I don't want to spend this much money on a light, like, I could use it for, like, something else, but I really wanted a ring light. I know all of, like, the really big, um, YouTubers and stuff had ring lights, and, um, and I really wanted one, so I finally got one, and the ring light really, I feel like they really are worth the money, though, because they lasted me for so long, and the only reason that it broke is because someone broke it, so... Yeah, um, I'm kind of upset about that, but I do think that these lights are actually pretty good. Um, at first, I, I didn't think it looked as good, but looking at it now, I feel like it actually does not look bad just using these lights on their own, like the, um, the soft boxes. Okay, so this look is literally so easy, you guys. Like, so easy. My god, I'm so excited to finally do my makeup again. I have not done my makeup in... I haven't done my makeup in like over a week. And the only reason I did my makeup last time was because um, we had a graduation to go to. We were, gonna, we were going to Daniel's brother's graduation. And then before that, I did my makeup for Claudia's son's birthday. But besides that, I haven't like actually sat down and been able to film for you guys, which really, really sucks. But um, we're finally getting settled into the new place and 
things are coming together really really nice you guys so i'm super excited and this background i am living for it like it looks amazing okay for this look i'm gonna go ahead and take my morphe 35b palette i'm gonna go ahead and pop this white shade in my inner corner and also on my brow bone just kind of to set that down a little bit um i've been liking to i've been liking how do i say this i have been loving to go in with um like whatever i'm gonna use for my brow bone in my inner corner before i can start my shadow and i like to set that down first and i, I don't know i just really have been loving it lately and we're literally going to use one eyeshadow for this look, and it's going to be the easiest thing ever. I'll zoom you guys in, like, the tiniest bit. Okay. So, basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working with this yellow right here. And I'm going to take this brush from BH Cosmetics. This is, it just says number seven. And BH Cosmetics brushes has really affordable sets. I really love their face brushes. I think they're amazing. And they're super affordable. Okay. So before I go in, I got a lot of that product, a lot of that yellow shadow. I packed a lot of it on to my brush. I'm going to go ahead and kind of blend out the concealer, make sure there's no creasing, no nothing. Just make sure it's smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of just pack the shadow on there. Just like that. And I feel like for this, like, it's super important that you guys make sure your base is wet. Like, don't set down your concealer on your lids. Um, okay. And I'm just going in a few times. Kind of packing that on there. And using the same exact brush, I'm just going to go ahead and tap the, off the excess. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start blending that shadow upwards. Like, up into the crease and up towards the brow bone. And after that, we're basically done with the look. I will go ahead and take a little bit more. Make sure you tap off the excess. And go ahead and blend it up towards your back one a little bit more. And then um, if you want it to be a little bit more intense, I will go ahead and take more of that yellow shadow. I'm just kind of pack it on a little bit more. But that's basically it for the look, like for the shadow. We're literally just going to use this eyeshadow, kind of pack it on until you like the intensity of it, until it's as pigmented as you would like it to be, and then just keep blending out, and then you're basically done for the look, for the eyeshadow. I will go ahead and go in with a wing. On this, I don't know if you guys can see, but I kind of like fucked it up a little bit right there, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of create a wing on this eye as well. I'm going to blend out the outer corner a little bit more. You don't have to do a wing for this look. I just really like the way that, I, I don't know, I just love winged liner. And I am going to be doing some gold flakes in the inner corner later on. So, I don't know. I feel like since I'm doing gold flakes, I want, like, I don't know. I want to even it out and add a wing. I just feel like it's going to look really, really bomb in the end. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my The Balm. Whoa, what is this called? My The Balm Schwing Liner. I really like this to fill in the wing and then I like I also like to use my NYX matte liquid line and then I like to I live for my Lottie London stamp liner I've talked about this I've raved about this before it's so so good for getting your liner to just come out really really bomb um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a wing really quick and then we will move on Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and just dust off my bake. You guys, was this eye look not easy? Did I lie to y'all? Because I really think this eye look was literally the easiest thing ever. Like, literally. It was one eyeshadow. You blended it a little bit, and that was basically it. Okay, and then I'll zoom you guys out, and then we will move on to finish off the face, and then... We'll go from there. Okay, so for a bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and take my Too Faced. Leave the door open, yeah? All right. I'm going to go ahead and take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You guys know this is my favorite. 
And I, I literally feel like I have not done, talked to you guys or done my makeup with you guys in so long. But this is the Vanity Planet Angled Contour Brush. And this is not sponsored, but I've been loving this brush. I think I've mentioned it before, but I just thought I would mention it again. I love this brush. I'm just going to go ahead and, mommy, contour my face a little bit more, bring some color back to it. No! This is like my favorite bronzer of all time. Okay, so I had filmed a Get Ready With Me before. Um, not before. Like the, the last week when I didn't upload. But it didn't turn out good, so I never uploaded it. And yeah, and then today I'm vlogging for my channel. Um, and I think I want to have this video up first. This yellow tutorial at first. I'll probably edit it tonight or sometime tomorrow and have it up tomorrow. Oh, mommy's just moved the camera. I thought it fell. Um, because I haven't had any makeup videos on my channel and it feels like forever. So I want this up before the vlog. But also, um, I have a vlog from like the first day like at the apartment. And I had forgotten that I had it. And today I'm vlogging because I'm like, oh, I, I'm going to vlog. I have like no content. But I had forgotten that I have that vlog. Like, I literally just forgot. I'm going to go ahead and cut under my contour a little bit. Just like that. You guys, we love the new place. Like, And for blush, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Benefit California blush. This is like one of my go-to blushes. Um, I used to be obsessed with the Milani blushes. And I used to have like a bunch of them. But I think my mom or my sister or someone stole them because now I only have like three. And I used to have like almost the entire collection of those and now I just don't I guess. But um yeah, I also used to have the like the entire collection of like the baby lips. And I also don't have those anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off my bake using this little brush and also this. She has something else in her mouth and I'm also gonna go ahead and dust off the bake on these sides of my nose. I am going to spritz my face with some MAC Prep and Prime and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Glow. You guys know this is the one that I literally always use. I literally, I don't even think I've used a different highlighter since I got this one. You guys know I literally use it all the time now, but yeah, and Anastasia Amory's Glow is the way to go. Hey, come here. Mommy's just took my Mommy. makeup forever and this is my favorite. I'm literally so sad right now. She ruined it. Wow, it feels so good to wear makeup. Like, sometimes you do kind of need a little bit of a break, but I have been wanting to sit down and do my makeup with you guys for this entire week that went by, but I just wasn't able to, you know? Removing a lot of my makeup was packed, my lights were, you know, packed, or some of them were broken. So. Okay, so I have you guys zoomed in right now, and we're gonna do a little bit of gold flakes in the inner corner. I have these gold flake, like little sheets, they're so cool, right? And we're going to apply those into the inner onto the inner corner. I like to use this glitter this glitter glue from glitter injections, it just kind of looks like this. And what I do is I take some on, I take some of this on the back of my hand, just like that. I kind of rub it off on there, just like that. And then I take this little brush from Real Techniques. It's just like an eyeliner brush. 
and I'm going to kind of pick some of that up and I'm going to start with this inner corner because this is the one that you guys can see and I just like to kind of add it on there just like that and then I try to work pretty fast and I take the gold sheet and I just kind of use tweezers and I rip off a little piece and then I'll even try to crumble it like that. And then I just kind of fly it in there, use the end of the tweezers to kind of make it stick. And then I just continue to do that. Just keep ripping pieces off from the gold sheet. And keep applying it where you think looks good. If you need more glue, if the glue dries, go ahead and add some more glue. But it's just really, really easy to do. And then after I do, I'll add a little bit more gold flake right there. But after I finish off the gold flakes, I'm just going to add some lashes. And you know what? Before I add my lashes and before I continue doing the gold flakes, let me just um, do the lower lash line with you guys. I'm going to take the same brush that we used earlier. Just a little bit of that yellow. Top off the excess. And I'm going to just kind of fluff that under. My lower lash, like very, very lightly. You can barely see that it's even there, but that's what I'm going for, just very, very, very lightly. And I'll add some mascara down there as well, but I'm going to continue doing the gold flakes, and then I'll add some lashes. So I went ahead and added some lashes. I had to go ahead and go in with some Mykonos from Lily Lashes. I love these lashes so freaking much, you guys. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have new ears. I got these at Walmart, um, and I thought they were cute, and I really, really like them. Um, they do kind of feel like they're falling off already, though, like falling apart, but... It's okay, they were cheap, so whatever. Um, I forgot to go in with some setting spray. I did go ahead and go in with some MAC Fix Plus earlier, you guys saw that, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter. You guys know this is my favorite. I literally will die. Like, I, I literally, like, live for the setting spray. Like, I, like, recommend it to literally everyone. Um, it's gonna, you know set my face and then I do have my lips already lined and I went ahead and used my MAC Boldly Bear lip liner. I have been loving this combo lately um, or that lip liner and like the combo I'm about to show you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some MAC uh, Prep and Prime on my lips. I don't 100% know what this does for you. I do feel like it kind of like does fill in those like fine lines on my lips. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my MAC Velvet Teddy. I love a Velvet Teddy. This is my first lipstick from them. And ever since then, this has just been my go-to. And I do want to go ahead and go in with a gloss for this look just because the eyes are matte, you know, I want it to kind of balance it all out. And I've been loving the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Cookie Butter. I got this lipstick, like, or like this lip gloss so long ago. And I tried to wear it on its own, but I didn't like the way it looked on its own. But I've been liking to kind of apply some in the middle of my lips. Like this exact combo, this lip liner, this lipstick. And um, this gloss looks amazing. It's been my go-to. And then I go ahead and just kind of use my finger. Blend it in a little bit. And this is what the lips look like. And basically the finished look looks like. I have been living for this lip combo. And I'm 
loving this eye look. It's not focusing, but you guys can see it. The gold flakes, the lashes, the liner, everything. I feel like this looks so freaking bomb. So this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really, really, really missed you guys. I missed filming. I am so happy. Let me know if you guys like this yellow background because I am living for it. It just looks so amazing. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you guys have not already. And if you guys did not know, me and Dana started a new couple channel together. Um, if you guys did not see our apartment tour, it is on that channel. And the channel will be linked down below. The apartment tour will be linked down below. So make sure you guys go subscribe to that channel as well. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I seriously, like, I'm so thankful to have you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video.